Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Ignu BA PCH. This channel is dedicated to Ignu BA Psychology Honours. As we always say, whether you are starting a new journey with Ignu, seeking an exam revision or maybe a little clarification on some topics, this channel is for you. If you are watching us for the first time, welcome again and thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't lose us to the never ending feed on YouTube. As we know, this series is about BPCC 102, that is Biopsychology. It is a core course in the first year of BAPCH. It has four blocks and six units in total. Today's video, we start with the second unit, that is Neurons and Nerve Impulse. In today's video, we will look into the neurons, its structures, types, functions and neural conduction. Let's begin. You know, everything that's alive is actually made up of tiny building blocks called cells. These cells are like the building blocks of life and they are not just in our bodies, but also in our organs like the heart, liver and brain. So when we think, act or behave in any way, it's all happening because of how these cells, along with various chemicals and organs, they work together. Now, one really fascinating part of our body is the nervous system. It's like a super complex communication network made up of millions of these tiny cells called neurons and trillions of connections between them. These neurons play a crucial role in making information travel throughout our body. In the nervous system, there are two main types of cells, neurons and glial cells. Neurons are the superstars. They send and receive information, kind of like a messengers. They are the ones responsible for sending signals to our brain and getting responses back. They help us do so many things like seeing the world around us, moving our bodies, feeling emotions, remembering stuff and even communicating. They do all this by transmitting electrical signals which is pretty amazing when you think about it. On the other hand, we have glial cells. They are like the bodyguard of our neurons, protecting and supporting them. So these cells work together as a team, allowing us to experience and interact with the world in all the ways that we do. It's really incredible how these tiny cells and the interactions make us who we are. All right. So when we talk about the nervous system and how it works, we have to get to give the, some credit to super specialized cells called neurons. They are like the information messenger of our body and they have got some pretty unique feature that help them to do their job. First off, every neuron has three main parts, the cell bodies, dendrites and axons. The cell body, the cell body, dendrites and axon. The cell body, sometimes called the soma, which is just a fancy word for body, is like the control center of the neuron. Think of it as the brain of cell. Right there in the center, you'll find the nucleus and some other important organelles like the Golgi body, mitochondria. These are the powerhouses and factories that keep the neurons running. Now let's talk about dendrites. Imagine them as tiny branches that stick out from the cell body, kind of like a tree with lots and lots of branches. This day, dendrites are crucial because they are the ones that receive incoming signals from other neurons. When these signals come in, it's like a spark that sets things in motion. Picture this, axon as a long skinny cable like projection that extends away from the neuron cell body. It's like the highway for nerve impulse, carrying them away from the cell body to their destination. This axon isn't just a plain wire though, it's wrapped in a special fatty substance called myelin. Myelin is an insulation around the electrical wire, okay, and it has nifty role. It, it speeds up the transmission of signals and making sure messages travel super fast. So these axons can be quite long and they often branch out like a tree. This branching allows them to connect with multiple other neurons, forming intricate network in our nervous system. Now, as the nerve impulse cruises down the axon, it eventually reaches the very end which we call the terminal buttons. Think of these buttons as a storage unit filled with tiny chemical messengers known as neurotransmitter. When the nerve impulse reaches the terminals, it's like opening the floodgates. And these neurotransmitters spill out into a tiny gap between neurons called synapse. Neurotransmitters interact with the receptors on the next neuron, transmitting the message from one neuron to another. Beside neurons, there are glial cells that support and protect neurons. These glial cells have various roles, oligodendrocytes in the central nervous system and swan cell in the peripheral nervous system. They produce myelin, a fatty substance that covers axon and provides insulation. Myelin helps conduct nerve impulse faster and more efficiently. Myelin dramatically increases the speed with which an axon potential 
travels down the action and it plays a crucial role in nervous system function. Microglial cells are like the immune system of the brain, responding to inflammation and protecting the brain from harmful microorganisms. Next is astrocytes. They play a role in maintaining the environment around the neurons, providing nutrients, cleaning up waste products, and supporting synapses. These glial cells contribute to the health and proper functioning of neurons. They are also involved in various neurological disorders, and scientists are studying their roles in conditions like autism, Alzheimer's diseases, and psychiatric disorders. So neurons are the messengers, while glial cells are the supporters, working together to ensure the nervous system functions effectively. Okay, now let's talk about the structure. There are three types of neurons that are categorized based on the structure. Bipolar neuron, unipolar neurons and multipolar neurons. Let's look into bipolar neuron. Bipolar neuron have two distinct extension or processes that extend from the cell body. One process is an axon which carries signal away from the cell body and the other is a dendrite which receives incoming signal. Bipolar neurons are commonly found in specialized sensory organ like the retina of the eyes and olfactory path of nose where they play a role in transmitting sensory information. Second is unipolar neuron. Unipolar neuron also known as pseudo unipolar polar neuron have a single extension that branches into two separate processes. One branch functions like a dendrite, receiving sensory input, while the other function like an axon, transmitting signals to other neurons. Unipolar neurons are often associated with the transmission of touch and pain sensation from the body to the spinal cord. These neurons receive sensory information from various parts of the body, such as touch, temperature, and pain sensation, and send them to the CNS for processing. Third is multipolar neuron. Multipolar neuron are the most common type of neuron in the nervous system. They have multiple extensions arising from the cell body. One of these extensions is an axon which can be quite long and carries signal away from the cell body. The other extensions are dendrites which receive signal again from the neurons. They are the most commonly found in the brain and spinal cord. Multipolar neurons are involved in wide range of functions including motor control, cognitive processes and sensory integration. In summary, Bipolar neurons have two extensions. Unipolar neurons have one main extension that branches into two and multipolar neurons have multiple extensions arising from the cell body. These different structural arrangements allow neurons to fulfill various roles in transmitting and processing information within the nervous system. And now neurons are like messengers in our body that helps us feel, move, think. You know there are different types of neurons. Those are categorized according to the function. So one is sensory neuron. It is also called efferent neuron. It gets information about what what's going on inside and outside of the body and bring that information, you know, like touching, seeing, hearing into the central nervous system so it can be processed. For example, if you picked up a hot coal, sensory neurons with endings in your fingertips, they would convey the information to your CNS that it was really hot. Okay. So second neuron is motor neurons, also called efferent neuron. These are like messengers that carry messages from your, our brain to our muscles or gland. They help us move our body parts and do things. For instance, you pick up the hot coal. Okay, so now motor ne neuron, what it does, it innervates the muscle in your fingers. You know, that would cause your hand to let go of the coal. Okay, so number third is interneurons. They are like the helpers inside our brain and spinal cord. They take messages from sensory neuron, okay, or another an interneuron and transmit the information to other neuron, either motor neuron or interneuron. This helps us make sense of things and decide what to do. These neurons work together like a team. Jerking of the knee when hit below the kneecap is a type of simple reflex. Without even thinking, thanks to the interneurons, this teamwork is called a reflex arc. It is also called no-brainer because it does not involve brain and is predictable. So neurons are like the boss of our body, okay? They help us do everything from quick reaction to solving tricky problems. They talk to each other to make our body work right, okay? For example, when we see something, neurons in our eyes tell our brain what we are seeing. When we hold something, neurons tell our muscles how to hold it. So these neurons are like messengers and helpers working together to make our body move and understand things. Neurons are like friends in our brain and spinal cord, connecting and talking all the time. They help us move, feel, think and do everything we do. Both things we are born with and things around us can affect how our neurons work. Okay, So if you think about the roles of the three classes of neurons, you can make the generalization that all neurons have three basic functions. Okay, 
they are to receive signal or information integrate incoming signals or to determine whether or not the information should be passed along and third communicate signals to the target cells or other neurons or muscles or glands now let's talk about neural conduction neurons they are like a tiny electric messengers in our body when they are not sending messages they are actually charged like batteries inside and outside the neuron there are special charged particles called ions some are positive like sodium and calcium some are negative like chloride there's a difference in charge between the inside and outside of the neuron kind of like having more plus sign outside this difference in charge is called membrane potential when the neuron is just resting it's not active and has a resting potential of about minus 70 millivolts but when something happens like a touch or a signal from another neuron the neuron gets excited like a switch turning on the charge inside the neuron becomes more positive for a short moment going up to plus 50 millivolt this is called an action potential it's like a quick burst of electricity so during the action potential sodium rushes into the neuron making it more positive but then potassium starts to leave and no more sodium can enter the cell making it negative again this all happens super quickly once the job is done the neuron goes back to its resting state. So neurons are like electric talkers that use charges to send messages super fast. Okay, so that's the end of today's video. So let's recap quick what we discussed today. We discussed neurons, yeah, their structures, their types, their functions and yes, neural conduction. Okay, in the next part of the video, we will bring you the second part of this chapter in BPCC 102. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below for more content in future. Follow us on Instagram for quick notes and updates and join the discussion on Telegram for all your questions. Have you seen our notes yet? Oh, come on, check it on Telegram. Links are down in the description. See you in the next video. Until then, stay curious, stay engaged and remember, you got this.